<laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Monk Madness video. Today we're going to be going over Miriam's ability power-ups. And uh, just like Hiei, uh, Miriam is quite different than the rest of the characters in the game. All of his abilities are kind of centered around one ability, I'm Hungry. Uh, when you use I'm Hungry, it gives you a power-up and the next time you use an ability, it does a different effect than what it would do if you normally used it. Let me show you what I mean. Let's open up his ability list and let me show you what it says. Alright, so King Strike, I Am Hungry, and Miriam's N. Those are his three abilities. And as you can see, King Strike has quite a bit of text on it. And it says, dash towards opponent to inflict damage, lowers opponent mobility gauge recovery upon impact. And what that does is uh, it makes your opponent recover their mobility slower. You know, kind of what it sounds like. But if you read the rest of it, it says temporarily lock opponent's mobility gauge if hit while powered up. And I'm pretty sure what that means is once you get hit by that, you can no longer escape or use any sort of move that requires you to use your mobility. I could be wrong on that last part, but I know 100% sure that it, it should prevent you from escaping like uh, Kenshiro does. But how does one power up, monk? Well, let me get to that. Well, if you would just continue a little bit here, RTY, I am hungry. The text says, grab your opponent to afflict damage, increases attack, and powers up other skills upon success. The power up ends when a move is used. Awakening gauge increases upon success while powered up. Grabs are unblockable. It may sound kind of confusing, but it's actually pretty straightforward, and I'm going to show you guys the actual gameplay of what this stuff does, not just read it to you like you're in school. I'm not your school teacher. I'm not your daddy, okay? But basically what that means is once you land, I am hungry, uh, you are then powered up, you get an attack increase, and the next time you use an ability, uh, that power up will go away. As you can see there, his aura was there, and then his aura was gone. Right, I'm gonna show y'all what happens when you use I am hungry and then use it again So we used I am hungry. I'm powered up right now. Now. Let's use it again Did you guys see that look at the awakening gauge. Oh gotta wait for my ability to come back All right, look at the awakening gauge. It's my character portrait Look at that boom you get like 20% of your awakening gauge every time you hit it and you can just keep using it. It doesn't it doesn't get rid of your power up. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty sure he's the first character that can get his awakening gauge offensively, which is pretty damn cool. Alright, now a demonstration of King Strike, which is pretty straightforward. I'm powered up, boom, hit him with King Strike, and then bam, mobility gauge lock, as you can see right there. So now your opponent's debuff, they can't escape for, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Uh, you could also call your assist in after King Strike to continue the combo, or you can also uh, call in your ultimate. Your ultimate will land after King Strike. I'm a scorcher with my hand, pussy. <laughs> I'm painfully aware of how unfunny I am. Anyway, let's power up again and do our last move, Miriam's end. Let's uh, do something fancy. Shoot him up in the air. Boom. See that? You see that? I, I, it, it debuffs him and uh, basically he his ability... Temporarily lowers opponent's ability gauge gain. So like when your opponent gets like basic attacks in or like, you know, high speed count or not high speed counters, the, uh, you know, you know, when you do air battles and stuff, your ability gauge will go up or when you do a grab, your ability gauge will go up one. Uh, I think it reduces that. I'm sure if you still do a grab, you'll still get a full ability gauge point. But when you do basic attacks, it'll only do like, I don't know, half of the gain. 
it, it, it just, it debuffs you. I, it's stupid, it's stupid. I don't like this move. It's his best move, but the power-up is stupid. I, I wish it took away his ability gauge, but then Miriam would be a little too overpowered, and I'm just rambling, I'll stop. Well, basically, to summarize, when they're all powered up, King Strike locks the opponent's mobility gauge, with, which is super, super useful. I am hungry gives you more awakening for your awakening gauge uh, offensively, which is insane. He's the first to ever do that. And then Miriam's N temporarily lowers opponent's ability gauge gain, which can be useful in its own right, but to me, eh, worthless. But I don't want y'all thinking that uh, you have to use I am hungry. I mean, look at the kind of combo that I can do without even focusing on I am hungry. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video because it seemed like a, I've seen a lot of videos of people who uh, just don't really know how Miriam's power up works or they just flat out didn't know that uh, all the abilities have like an altered effect. And uh, I don't know, I just wanted to make something to, uh, you know, clarify. Anywho, if you like what you saw, you should, uh, you know, like and subscribe. That'd be freaking totacular, dude. And, uh, you know, always, always, always stay beautiful, my friends. Uh, later in a few days, I'll probably have some Miriam gameplay and a Miriam combo video for y'all. So stay tuned for that. Anywho, see ya. Check you later. Have a good one. Goodbye.